Terminal's Moving picks up two years after the events of Time Stops Moving. In this story, Adam, he he's kind of stopped saying I love you to anyone, um, even the girl that he's in a relationship with. And this story for him is about having the courage to say those three really powerful words. To me, it's mainly about a guy who's regretting um, how he's treated women in the past or also sometimes I'm feeling like it's a bit of a fantasy about, between relationships and things like that. It's kind of, to me, about how in modern times we complicate relationships when they don't need to be. We hear about the best friend who they, her and Adam had a, a good relationship but turns out she wanted some, she was in love with him, she wanted something from him that he couldn't give her. And the other woman had a very physical relationship with him. But despite that, she wanted to be the one. She was in love with him too, from, from what it seems. But he couldn't take it to that level with her. And the girlfriend, she, she, held, she held back. She held back on everything she felt because she couldn't, she couldn't trust him. just knew what it is I find so hard to say. If I can only say the truth, I say. I say. Time always moving is a story about how no matter what events happen in your life, time is always going to go on anyway. And you can you can handle those events however you handle them, but no matter what you do, um, time is going to keep passing by. Time Always Moving is based around the premise of time, uh, but not just time by itself. Time from from the perspective of the two people how it affects them how how does time make their relationship grow how does it carry them together in the relationship and in their lives <laughs>